Welcome back everybody. So today I'm doing something a little different. A lot of you have been asking me uh, to do sort of like my cookware and a lot of you have asked, where did I get this? <laughs> um, so I'm going to answer that question today. That along with some other pots and pans that you guys have asked uh, before. By the way, just a heads up, none of these uh, types of pots and pans that I'm using, I'm not, this is not a sponsored video and I'm not, um, hyping these up like the best and oh you should use this or whatever um, I'm just showing you what I use what I like to use whether you find it safe healthy or whatever that's not what I'm telling you I'm just specifically you guys have asked what pan is that what brand is that and I'm going to show you today so let's get to it okay so the first one is Saflon, Saflon, it's a nonstick cookware brand made in Turkey. And this is kind of like that granite stone look or I, I guess type. I bought this at the Harvest Market. Um, that is just a market store, grocery store. And they had a bunch of these type of pots and pans. Actually, this was the only walk that I saw that day. Um, they did have another pan that had this, you know, color and this type of granite stone um, surface, but I just, this was the only one and it was by itself. I think I paid, I don't remember, somewhere between $20 to $30 for it, um, and I absolutely like using this pan. And uh, like I stated earlier, I, I'm not um, telling you to go out and buy this type. I don't even know. I know there's a lot of... Uh, uh, health uh, warnings with the use of like Teflon and things like that so by no means am I telling you this is an awesome pan a great pan this is just me buying a pan and I like using it that's it but yes this is Saflon or Saflon cookware and if I can find a link I'll put it below but honestly I get asked this question a lot sometimes about my cookware and I just don't find links online so if I if I can find something I will I will link it below be sure to check the description below okay so I use this sometimes uh, a couple of you have asked me or several of you uh, have asked me this is hello home brand and this is made in Korea. I purchased this from H Mart, which is a local Korean grocery store. And I bought this little, this is just a little nonstick pan. And, and then this pot. And I'll flip this over. I wonder if it says that. Yeah, this is the same thing. Hello Home, made in Korea. And this pot is probably like a three quart, three quart, no? It's around somewhere between two to three quart pot. It's not a giant pot, but I do like to use it um, in a lot of my videos. I'm sure you've seen it. Another one that I like to use as a little fry pot or just to make like little soups, my Korean stews and soups, if I don't use my stone bowl, is um, this little stainless steel cookware. Again, I don't know. Let me see if I can... If you guys can make that out, great. Stainless steel, made in Korea. And this was another purchase from my local uh, Korean grocery store. Okay, so since moving to this house, I don't, have I used this? Yeah, maybe I have used it since moving here. But this kind of got beat up on the way uh, in the move. But you guys will definitely recognize this pot. I even have this on my channel page. Uh, for my channel art. I love this pot. Um, and this, oh, this is heavy. This is an enameled, like, cast ironware. It's very heavy. Oh, no, there is no brand on here. Um, but the brand is Cocina Ware. I purchased this at HEB. That is a Texas, uh, local Texas grocery store. HEB, I don't know if there are HEBs outside of Texas. Maybe one in Oklahoma. I could be wrong. But um, this is a Cocina Ware H-E-B brand um, pot that I saw on sale. Again, I will link, uh, I'll put links if I can find it. But if you go to CocinaWare.com, I'm sure you might find something similar. I have not seen this pot online with this color. But again, I'll do the best I can. Um, you'll notice I do like these co this color, this type of color. <laughs> So for the next one, I'm sure you guys have seen this. Yeah, my, my pans are used and dirty. 
or stained. But this is a ceramic wear uh, type pan by Green Life. The brand is Green Life, and I have several sizes. This is the largest one I have. I think this is 10, a 10 inch skillet. I have a small one and then a medium sized one. And I purchased these. Um, I, I ordered one on Amazon, but the original one that I purchased, I got it at Kroger. That is another local gro uh, grocery store supermarket. So yes, Green Life. I, I do like these. And as you can see, I kind of scratched and chipped it there. So it's probably time for a new one at some point. Okay. Here, you guys might have recognized these. These are my little caldero pots by IMUSA. I do have a link for these. This one I use mostly. I Sometimes I'll use this larger one, but the one that I use for like rice and sometimes fideo is this one. And this is a 3.2 quart. This is a 3.2 quart pot. And the one beneath this is a 6.4 or 6.9 quart. So yeah, this is I Am USA Caldero style pots, the red with the little lid. And someone in the comments said they liked it and they purchased it. And uh, But they did say, you know, you got to be careful with these metal handles because they do get hot. So don't think you can just grab it. <laughs> um, you'll need to use pot holders with this. I have not really had an issue burning myself with this. Uh, but you do need to be careful because the handles are metal. Okay, so for my stainless steel uh, cookware, I use uh, Cuisine Art. This is, yeah, this is Cuisine Art. And I use this a lot if I'm making just like a quick pan of rice or things like that. And this I recently purchased uh, last year. And this is a 10 inch or 12 inch. It's one of the larger ones, the largest ones that I have. And it's by Cuisine Art. And actually this uh, stainless steel pan came in a set with like two pots, an eight quart pot and a, a six quart or five quart. And then uh, it also came with a larger, um, not a larger, but a deeper skillet with lids and smaller boiling pots or sauce pots. I will link that set below because I actually purchased this one within a set. This one was just by itself. But yeah, this is, these are the brands that I use for stainless steel currently, and that's uh, Cuisine Art. Okay, so I know a lot of you have asked about this little griddle. This I purchased at the Home Goods store, and for the longest time I'm like, there is no brand name. And then I realized uh, recently, it says TVS, made in Italy. Uh, that's all, that's all I can tell you about this. I purchased this at the Home Goods store. And it is just a granite, uh, a granite stone surface, uh, just griddle. And I love to use it. I'm sure you guys have seen this in several of my videos. I actually have cast iron pans, cast iron griddles. I even purchased a cast iron griddle that's round like this. And for some reason, I just always gravitate towards this one. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, that's what this is. It's a granite stone griddle. And I noticed, I don't know why I never noticed TVS on it. I'm just going to assume that's the brand name. I don't know. But I always noticed Made in Italy the, the couple times that I looked at it. So there's that. Now, on the subject of cast iron skillets, I have several. This is my favorite one. This is uh, probably an 8-inch diameter. But this I purchased at an estate sale. I've had this for a very long time. And the estate sale that I went to, it was for um, an eight, I think she was like 87-year-old uh, woman that was selling her home. She was going to live with her relatives because she was up in age. She was actually uh, a neighbor of one of my aunts. Uh, and I purchased two from her. And these are my favorite. And I want to show you the back of this one. Wagner. It's a Wagner Ware. And I have yet to research, you know, possibly how old the my cast iron skillets are. But, um, but her name, the woman that had the estate sale, not her name, uh, she was late 80s. And she said that her mother passed these to her. But I love it. And you can tell that it's, you know, when I bought it, it had a lot of like sticky stuff on it. I did the best I could to get rid of it. But I really, this is one of my favorite my favorite cast iron skillets, that one and the other one that I purchased that is a little bit larger. 
but I also have like the largest cast iron skillet. It's from uh, Lodgeware. I will link that below. And that is a pre-season cast iron skillet that I recently purchased, you know, within the year. And that is one of my favorite ones because it's large. It has a large work surface that you can do a lot with. But yeah, I really like this little cast iron skillet. And by the way, the way I um, clean it, if I'm frying chicken or cooking breakfast in it and there's a lot of residue left, I basically get one of those like metal type scrubbers. And if I need to add a little bit of uh, water, that's what I do. And I just kind of scrub it and then I dry it very well. Sometimes I'll actually put it in a preheated oven at like 400 degrees just to make sure that it's dry. And then I oil it and you know, that's it. I, I don't know if that is a technical way to treat your cast iron pans, but this is a well-seasoned old cast iron pan. I've had it for 20 years. <laughs> I bought this when I was really, I was younger. I used to like to, to buy resale stuff when I was in my teens and I love to cook at a very early age. So things like this, you know, as a teenager, I would go to thrift stores and places with my, um, my tias or my mom and I, I liked cookware. So I've had this for a very long time. Anyways, um, yeah, so cast iron skillet, one of my favorites. I purchased it at an estate sale. Okay, so recently I've used this in my peach cobbler video, and then I have a larger one that I used for that pasta bake that I did last week. Both of those are Ceramica, made in Portugal, and um, they were gifts from my husband. I asked him, and he said he either got it at... Uh, the home goods store or TJ Maxx, I think. And this was a while ago. I just uh, recently started using these. Actually, this has something on it. Anyway, so yeah, for those of you that thought these were kind of nice, Ceramica brand. And if I can find a link, I'll put it below. Okay, so I know you guys have seen this one. I get asked a lot, oh, where'd you get that little gold pot? This is a ramen pot and my husband told me that this right here, I don't know if you can see it, it's, I guess, the brand name or company name, Sambo, Sambo. Um, I don't know, that's what he told me, that's how he translated it, but it's a, a ramen pot, and I purchased both of these. I actually have a larger one as well. I purchased both of these at H Mart, my favorite local Korean grocery store, H Mart. So you probably could find these in... Uh, just an Asian supermarket. I'm sure they would they would have these, but I specifically purchased these from H Mart. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this up. <laughs> Hopefully I got to most of your questions, but I know you guys recognize these. These are, oh, I'll show you the back. If you guys wanna take a screenshot and figure what that says. <laughs> Um, these are stainless steel rice mixing bowls. Um, my husband said he recognizes these when he was younger, you know, and well, his family, my, our family still lives in Korea, but he said his mom would use these so they can mix, um, bibimbap. Uh, if they were just had rice and they had leftover side dishes, they would mix it in these bowls and eat it. That's what they would use it for, but not me. <laughs> I like to use it to mix my doughs or ingredients. And um, I have different sizes, but when I uh, recently, um, a couple of months ago, it was about three or four months ago, I went to H Mart and I tried to look for more and the only size they had were, um, I think it was like this size. It wasn't the larger sized ones. It was this size. And I, I don't know, hopefully I'll look out. I really love these as, as mixing ingredients and doughs and things like that. But yeah, they are technically... Um, I mean, you can mix anything in them, really, but I think they're, my husband said he grew up, grew up using these as rice mixing bowls. But yeah, some of my favorite stuff in my kitchen. Okay, so I hope that helped you guys. Um, like I stated earlier, I will try to find links for you for most of the stuff that I cook with. Um, and hopefully you can find it online. But a lot of the stuff that I purchase it is in grocery stores, supermarkets, places like that. But I hope you guys are having um, a good day. I hope you have a great week. Please be safe. Stay safe. Be well. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.